He told Aaron, go into the desert. Go and meet your brother Moses. And so Aaron went and met, met Moses. Moses who was now determined to go and liberate the people of Israel. By the way, sometimes I look at Moses for those 40 years when he was in Midian and wonder, what was he thinking? Because in Egypt, that is where his mother was. And she was going through oppression. Oppression. That is where his father was, his mother was, his brothers were, his sister who rescued him was. And here was Moses living in a comfort zone. The good news is that he decided to leave the comfort zone and take up the challenge. And God now ordered how Aaron is going to meet Moses. And they met. And when they met, they went to the people. We are told that Moses and Aaron brought together all the elders of Israel. And Aaron told them everything the Lord had sent to Moses. He also performed the signs before the people. And they believed. And when they heard, and this, this one is very important. And when they heard that the Lord was concerned about them, they bowed down and worshipped. So Moses was now received as a savior for the people who are under oppression. Yes, God was concerned. Even when they thought that God was not concerned, God was concerned. And even today, my brothers and my sisters, God is still concerned with our troubles. As I earlier started, I say that we find ourselves in situations and we ask ourselves, does anybody care? Is anybody concerned? When things are going from bad to us and worse to worst, we wonder, does God care? God is concerned with our troubles. God is real and he cares for his people. Those situations arises and seems to tend to surmount and to overwhelm us. His love for us is still intact. He cares. He is concerned always. And the reason as to why sometimes he does not act the way we think he should is because he is preparing an exodus event. An event that will become very dramatic. An event that will impact. It will even impact the oppressor. So that the oppressor shall be overwhelmed. When Moses went to Egypt. And he found the oppressor. And he told him. God has asked me to tell you. Let my people go. The oppressor said. Who is God? That I should obey him. And Moses had to demonstrate. And he released 10 plagues. So this is the dramatic thing that I'm talking about. 10 plagues including the death of firstborns in every house of Egypt. The plunder that came in when they were leaving Egypt because they went to their neighbors and asked them to give them gold and jewelry. That plunder, it was dramatic. It even brought about the death of that bad pharaoh together with his army at the Red Sea. This exodus that God prepares when we think that he doesn't care and that he's not concerned is so life-changing because it makes us to be focused on this God in all our lives. Even when we are going through much tribulations, we remember that is where we were and this God was able to deliver us. He is going to deliver us even today. It becomes life-changing. And it becomes our continual reference and history. So, brethren, I don't know what you are going through today. As a country, we have been going through very hard times. And I feel privileged to speak at a time 
when the Court of Appeal has upheld our Constitution. You remember during that time, it came to a point where everybody thought it has gone. <laughs> it has gone. And even some people said, they started comforting themselves and saying, probably this was God's intention. But God was preparing an exodus. What are you going through today? The message is that our God is concerned. You shall go through it and emerge victoriously in the name of Jesus. Because there is no situation which is permanent. Only God, Jehovah, Yahweh, who is permanent. Be sure, my brother, my sister, that our God is concerned. Like what he told the exiles who were in Babylon, he only requires us to hope in him. Very briefly, because I want to finish, I will read Isaiah chapter 40, verse 30, 27. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 27. Because these are very powerful ones that God spoke to people who were so desperate. He spoke to them. Starting verse 27, he told them, Why do you say, O Jacob? And why do you complain, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord. My cause is disregarded by my God. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. He is the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or grow weary. And his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths may grow tired and weary. And young men shall stumble, stumble and fall. But for those who hope in the Lord, he will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This is what God spoke to the exiles who were in Babylon. He told them, only what you need to do is to hope in me. When you hope in God, you stop being focused on the circumstances. Because you are God, our God is bigger than our circumstances. You start acting in a way that is oriented to making your hope become a reality. And you cease to be frightened by setbacks because the Lord has said the just shall live by faith. Our God, brothers and sisters, is concerned. He cares. He cares. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is there is not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Lord, we know that you care. People may not care because they have various reasons. But you care. You are concerned. And you still use people to realize that concern in our lives. We pray that, Father, you may intervene in our lives, in our economical life, social life, family life, political life, academic life, and because you care, come and change our situations. This we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. God bless you. Praise the Lord. It is true, and we have confirmed that the Lord is caring. We bless the name of the Lord that this far he has continued to care. Thank you.
our administrative secretary for bringing such a powerful word to us as we continue in the endeavors of our time. That the Lord still is enthroned and he cares. Praise the Lord. Even if you forget other things, just, just tell, tell him or her, the Lord cares. That's a better preaching for today. The Lord is caring. Our nation is not just uh, open. Our nation, there is one who is concerned and caring. And I thank God that this far, the Lord has continued to care. May I take this opportunity also just to say, indeed, we are very grateful because of our, uh, our, good, uh, our good parents. Actually, Administrative Secretary, when I came here, I realized there was a dream. And this dream was about putting up uh, a complex for the purposes of the mission, uh, the church mission. And when I came, I realized our very parents had a dream having such a, a complex whereby uh, the church can get uh, some finances uh, to propagate its uh, matters. And I'm very grateful that they had a dream. And actually what we are doing this time, we are actualizing the dream. These parents were actually the parents of Muheshimiwa uh, Wangu Ingereshe and the rest. Some of us, some of them are alive and some of them, uh, we, we take Holy Communion to them. Some of them do come to service uh, sometimes, but we thank God that this far we have been able to come. Just to bring uh, to you uh, this notice that uh, we started the project and uh, we have done uh, a bit of it, the first floor, we are working on the second floor and, and, and now we are, we, are, we are looking on how we can complete this good work and that we can have a clear picture. I wish to welcome uh, Brother Nyamu, who is the chair, who is reading us, Patrick Nyamu, just to take over. And uh, let us understand the dream that we have embraced. And I'm sure there are a few copies. These copies were produced. Uh, uh, that was 14th March. And we said we shall have them uh, for us. But it was not possible. But the Lord has brought us this far. So, Karibu Sana, we can have a mic for Patrick. Patrick has been the reader, the chairman in this church, and Patrick is the one taking us through. Thank you. Can you have a mic for him, please? Uh, thank you, our Rodin, our Deputy President, uh, all the members of the uh, directed readers, our ears, the Christian, Buona Yesu Astifiwe, God is good, and all the time, Gai wako wa nemunene, Gai wako wa nemunene, Gai wako wa nemunene, Gai wako wa nengaye. Tuimbe! Nemunene, Gai wako wa nemunene, Gai wako... Okay, I'm just directed by the vice chair. We have a few washrooms on this side and the other side for the guests. Kindly just request the answers to guide you if any need be. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm just to give a very brief about this project, this is the expected project. Na kwanza ni staanza na medhari tatu. Goja goja huumiza matubo. Na hayawi hayawi huwa. Na leo ni leo, ashe maekesho ni? And we thank God. Let's appreciate our Deputy President for coming. As I told you, God time is the best time. Say amen. amen. God time is the best? You know this program we prepared our Deputy President on 14th March when you are coming. And uh, we said even if it is failed, God time is the best?
and we are remain hopeful that one day one time you will come and leo ni leo asema kesho ni ni muongo then just to give a brief of the ATK wanguru church the invest in the investment project my name is patrick nyamu and more to that i'm saved and uh, jesus is the savior of my heart this project where the ATK st luke's investment project stand was allocated to the church by then the Kirinyaga County Council in 1973. The Vicar's residence was constructed in part of the plot. It is to the landmark for many years. In the year 2007, the Church Council decided to put a semi-permanent structure on the area that was not built up. However, after much consultation, it was decided that a permanent sorry building be construction an architect and an engineer was ahead to give professional advice and also to come up with the design. The drawing were approved by the church council and taken to the relevant government agent for approval and certification. A qualified contractor was hired by the end of the year 2008 and a groundbreaking ceremony was performed and a construction started in the Honest in the beginning of the year 2009. Since the design covered the whole plot, it was not possible to do all, it, all of it due to the limitation of fund. The first phase comprising of the two finished lunch rooms were done and completed by the year 2010. In February of the year 2011, the premises were rented to the Kenya Power and Wrighton Company, and the project temporarily stopped in the year 2011, in the April, April 2011. The reason for stoppage was and to embark on church extension and compound improvement. At the end of the year 2017, the primary on return of the project was done. This included changing the design uh, to accommodate the unaccessed road to conform to the country physical plan. A new improved design was done again and approved by the authorities and the built up face was married into the new design. The Vika residence was partly demolished to pave way for the new building. The design comprises of business premise in the ground and the first floor. The second and third floor are residential, two and three bedroom apartment. The ground floor is completely done excepting the we are now just doing the finishing and the first floor slab is also done what remains is the partitioning of the warring in the first floor the total cost for the project was lovely estimated to be 110 million so far this has a christian who has been answering to raise fund including on 14th of march that we were the deputy president was part of our chief guest we have already so far managed to give 23 million seven hundred and forty three thousand six hundred and three kenya shillings can you appreciate yourself <laughs> that is far we have spent so far the much money has been raised by the this christian through harabe habana haba ujaza the project is an investment in the, the, in, into the future. St. Luke's Wanguru has started a life-changing community improvement program. Some of these are supporting a ch uh, children's homes within the church jurisdiction and the foundation that pay post-primary school education need and vulnerable students. So far, we have four students so far in secondary school. We have a foundation here in our church. We normally say Mustard Seed Foundation. And this one, we normally help the Christian or the needy Christian within our jurisdiction. It is a copy of the Equity Foundation Wing to Fry program. Once the coverage of the project is expected to raise or to generate income or enough revenue to enable the church to fulfill its mission, mandate and continue supporting community program and make life better by creating hope for all like the one bottom up we want to make this opportunity to thank the technical team 
that has supported all of us through the vicars, the church council, and the guest of honor, mostly our honorable Wangoi Gereshe, our human. Can we appreciate her? He has been one of the major guests in every Harambe we normally come into our church, we normally raise, because he one is, she is one of us and one of our Christians in this church to run this project. We call upon your continued support to Nambu Edevas, and may God bless you. As Christian, we are still preparing for more Harambe in coming in the month of April to Nakua na Mashinani Kidogo Kidogo, but we thank God because today our death the, our deputy president is here we call upon for your donation in every kind of any kind may god bless you as to partake this wonderful project it is coming very soon may god bless you and have a blessed weekend Now, on the interest of time at this juncture, this is what we've been doing, and this is uh, uh, our area of concern. And one thing is that we know our Lord is concerned. That's why all of us, we have come together today, because the Lord is concerned. Atakama haikufanyika mwezi watatu, the Lord was still concerned. And we bless God that today we have... Uh, uh, we have our deputy president with us. We have the dignified leaders in our nation. And we also have uh, the group of uh, business community with us. And we are now uh, to support in this uh, uh, noble, uh, noble cause. And so at this juncture, we to work, uh, welcome all of us that we can join together in racing the way we could have done it in March 14th. We also now join together in racing for this noble cause, and this is what, uh, what we are geared into, and I'm sure with all of us, it is possible. God bless us, and God be with us. Finally, I want to say that uh, uh, as we put ourselves together, it is for the betterment of the mission work. And at this juncture, uh, Your Excellency, I wish to welcome Madam Wangoi Gereshi, our honorable member, uh, women rep, just to take the platform. Karibu sana. God is good. And all the time, our deputy president, the clergy, Waishinua Wote, na Christians. Today is a great day. And one of the things I want to say is that I want to thank God because we are celebrating the victory of Jesus. Amen? Uh, one thing, um, honorable members, Sababu and Your Excellency, this is my mother church. This is where I was brought up. <laughs> and this is where I was taught kwamba shetani aishi binguni and naishi kuzimu. So I remember last time kuna mahali tulisikia mtu amesema kwamba wakakaa huko na shetani binguni. So this is where I was taught that the Jordan River haikuwa na crocodiles. That is why I've been steadfast na nimesimama na ile ahadi ambazo nimefundishwa katika Biblia that God's promises are here and amen. So if you allow me clergy today for us is a celebration of the victory of Jesus. Like DS ame tufundisha our DS Amesema in the lesson today that it doesn't matter how deep you have gone. When you trust in God, He will 
lift you up. So we kindly would wish to ask kwamba kabla tuendelee sababu sisi tutaongea if you allow us kwanza tuombewe kwanza all the representatives sababu sisi tumepewa mandate hao watu mnaona hapa kila mtu akisimama hako na mandate ya over 100,000 people si ni vizuri tuombewe ndio tuseme asanti kwa Mungu so allow me eh, honorable members tusimame tu tupige magoti hapa tuombewe na clergy then we can go on before we say anything else as they as they come i will say as they come i will say that the lord is concerned that's why he has given us david david is taking up in the leadership and please davids of the day be strong take courage the lord is on your side we are there to back you up and may the spirit of the lord guide you through and by the help of the lord may you capture may you be the readers and may you continue becoming may the strength of the lord be upon you kama yawezekana kupiga tu makoti we shall pray with you let us pray dear loving father we thank you we are grateful because in our midst in this service in this sanctuary we have great leaders of our country we thank you so much because of our vice president i mean deputy president we thank you so much because of all the leaders who are together with him we thank you father because of the call that you have called them and they have adhered to that call father we are not ignorant of the many challenges that they have been going through especially in the matter of defending our constitution yes they are loving god at such a time where the faint hearted had already said that it is gone you stood with these dear servants and especially our deputy president oh, yes. and he was able to stand even in the midst of a very rebellious and opposing crowd at bombers oh, yes. and he was able to put forward his case and lord you have now indicted him because from what came out from the court of appeal what he said has come to be oh yes dear loving father we want to thank you because of his resilience oh yes we want to thank you lord because you have also given him people who are backing him yes. without turning backwards yes, okay. thank you so much mm -hmm. because even for your servant moses he was able to defeat the oh. amalekites because there were people who are standing with him oh yes dear loving father we want to thank you for this dear servant of yours oh yes we commit him to you we pray that god you may guide him oh, yes. that father you may inspire him mm. when his uh, strength seems to fail him mm. dear loving father as you have said through your word to the israelites who are in babylon oh, yes. lift him up and empower him so oh, that yes. he may be able to fly with wings like eagles oh yes we pray that father you shall give him insight in every decision that he shall make and we thank you for these dear ones who are together with him father let them be good soldiers who will stand with him we commit our country to you because that we know that you care that you are concerned we pray for the best for this country oh yes thank you for everything we give you glory we give you honor for this we pray in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Amen. You po mungu binguni asikia ema ombi yetu. You po mungu binguni Ayajua ema ombi yetu Tunapoomba asikia anajibu Tunapoomba 
asikia maombi yetu asanti so at this juncture allow me your excellency at least uh, in this county you are loved na we have aspirants first before i talk about aspirants we have people from the county government ambao wanafanya kazi kule county na wale hawaogopi kutajwa pamoja na wewe before walikuwa wanatajwa pamoja na wewe wanafukuzwa but for now they have said liwe so please wale watu wa county mko area simusimame tafadhali alafu you wave to the church wale watu wa county mko simameni ni you wave to the church don't worry eh god is faithful uh, he is the chairman of the public service board uh, mr ngiavi asante sana kwa kukuja and that's the pa to our, to our county executive our county ceo anaitwa pauline na amekusalimia asante sana so then uh, the aspirant mtasimama will recognize you from where you are tafadhali kama wewe ni aspirant mko wengi so i'll recognize you from where you are tafadhali uh, muteti muremi aspirant ndia uh, aspirant geshogo oh oh clement yes clemo uh, emma aspirants wetavia my friend aspirant kasarani uh, where oh groliaga gaturi south embu kiarie starehe oh wow uh, our aspirant eh uh, jokeni anaitwa mutali thank you our aspirant senator aspirant this constituency of mwea nataka kutoa kavinga wadhayo and then we have our mca ambaye amesimama na wewe peke yake alivote no in the county assembly huyu anasimamanga is one one man army kama wewe kuja hapa gatson usalivie watu ah my fathers in the work of the lord my fellow leaders your excellency the deputy president of the republic of kenya and all the mps around bwana yesu asifiwe bwana apewe sifa uh, my name is gadson mushina uh, this is my area and the lord is my savior your excellency i'm a humbled person because when you were to come to this church of St. Luke's where I'm also a member though I have my church in Kiamanyeki but I'm a member here they know that uh, you promised me that this year won't end before you come and I came and told them I told the reverend the, the, whatever you told me I told the chairperson the vice chair and today the day is with us here we are humbled we are very much humbled for your coming nataka kusema ya kwamba tunafurahi kwa sababu ya kuja kwako sisi kama watu watebere na mwea entirely na kirinyaga tumesimama na wewe na usiwe na wasiwasi as i told you when we were in your home karen hawa watu wametuambia jia hakuna ingine na ndio sababu sisi tunasimamanga na ukweli na tunasimama na chenye ambacho tunaamini kwa hivyo feel much welcomed tuko na wewe mpaka dakika ya mwisho Mungu atuongoze I'm, I'm a very happy person because these people know I was totally against the BBI hata kama ni mimi nilikuwa chairman wa kamati ile ilipeleka bunge my work was only to present in the house the others do the, does the rest mimi nimekuwa nikipigana na hiyo kitu wanajua hivyo na nilishukuru sana wakati nilisikia ya kwamba uh, koti imeamua rege isimame sababu kuna Mungu bingu kuna Mungu binguni thank you very much god bless you i'm also happy because you are the second uh, deputy president i hosted 
Vice President Kalonzo Mushioka, when he was the Vice President for uh, uh, our President Mwai Kibake, I'm humbled to have hosted the second Deputy President in my word. God bless you. Asante sana. So, Your Excellency, um, this church began as a Ilikuanga class ya shule. So we would go on Sundays, but the other days we would not go. We go under a tree. Apo kwa vicarage. Kwa sababu akukuanga na kanisa. So I really thank God for this father that the Lord has brought us. Um, I would like now to start recognizing our members of parliament. And uh, with no exact order, I have some nime <laughs> I have some requests because kuna wengine wangependa kukimbia nyumbani but I want to invite our very own next governor of Embu County ambaye anaitwa Cecily Mbarire uh, thank you very much my sister Wangoingirishi your excellency the deputy president and the next president of the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> Colleagues, members of parliament, na all the Christians of St. Luke's, good morning. God is good, and all the time, praise the Lord. Fanyenivi, praise the Lord. Asanti sana, nimeshkuru sana kuwa hapa, nimeomba rusa, Bwana Deputy President, because I have another function in Embu, lakini nilisikia kama jirani, it's important I come here. We praise with you, because this is a very important day for us. It's indeed a day that the Lord has made. Uh, we stand here today greatly humbled, because we've seen the hand of God in the last two days. We've seen God take us from a very bad place where we had been pushed to a corner, where we have gone through a lot of challenges, but today we stand free knowing that our constitution is still strong and still defending Wanjiko. Na sijui kama nyinyi watu wa Kirenyaga mmeona vile maneno imekuwa. And I want to appreciate the area MCA. The level of intimidation that we politicians have gone through because of BBI, leo mina sema mungu asifiwe. To be able to stand, to have been able to stand, whether in the county assembly, in the national assembly, or in the senate, and say no to BBI, you had to have had a skin as thick as one of a crocodile, if not an elephant. But it was not by our own strength, but the strength of God that we were able to stand with the truth. So today, nikisimama hapa, nataka pia kushukuru uyu mama. Oyo ni njamba siya kunda mai, ni mwe kuwa? Oyo ni njamba siya katia? Alisimama na kasema no. Na wengine wa hapa, wakasema yes. But we knew this was the right path to take. So we thank God that today our constitution is strong so that even those that are planning to bring a parliamentary initiative should know that it is now not possible based on the ruling of parliament, of the judiciary, and we will be watching you. We will stand firm with Wanjiko like we did the first time. At a parliamentary initiative, Tunasema ishindwe katika jina la ye? Yes. Sasa watu wa kirenyaga ni kiketi chini. Mumeona chief hustler amekuja hapa. Na sio mara ya kwanza amekuja kirenyaga. Ata kwetu embu ya mekuja sijui marangapi. Gaudia. Kutu wa kukua mukari ga nirwane mundoyo ma. Kutu wa kukua mukari ga nirwane ke. Mwambire liye kurete wa mundu wengine reg mire mutongo liye wenyu ya kia rele liya woko. Ate tuwe tuwe mwe na ore ya. Nikuwe mwere ya ando eto. Mutasimama na deputy president. Mutasimama na deputy president. Ebu nione kwa mikono. Na sisi yasa nafanya kwa kanisa. 
hata huko wangu tunasema baune votore baune votore na tutilagu wagua sawa sawa Mungu awabariki wa tunawapenda Mheshimiwa Ngereshe Kanyanga hivyo hivyo even you I wish you well I wish you well in your agenda for the people of Kirinyaga Na ngiuga kiu yeteke anga bana nikiwa renda bau na nimeponere mwaranja ge bau zote tutajaribu kama kina mama your excellency we will try and we know we can make it so your excellency god bless you thank you for standing with the people of the mountain you are a true friend and we love you may god bless you na kwa sababu naondoka mmenituma na salamu huko embu mmenituma na salamu na maombi yangu pia ndio nifikie mahali nataka asanti sana na nitaacha kama nimesukuma mheshimiwa ngereshe na hiyo project yenu na 30000 shillings thank you very much god bless you asante ni thank you so much uh high excellency ningependa sasa niite ambaye alifika mapema sana ameenda through the first part of the service with us and we love him very much sababu yeye ndio neighbor hapa katuli hapa uki cross pale yeye ndio neighbor anaitwa dende Asante sana Mama County Mheshimiwa Gereshe uh, His Excellency the Deputy President William Samoe Ruto na viongozi wote viongozi wetu wa kanisa tukiongozwa na vika ambaye ni Reverend uh, Moshera na pia wa AS uh, Venerable Benson na wakristo wenzangu Bwana asifiwe Mwadhani ya gosho Uh, our reverend mimi nimefurahia sana even our AS I actually told you out there that I was born baptized kuwekerewa mikono maneno yangu yote ni ya agrikana na kwa hivyo mimi ni mu ACK In fact I am sure reverend pegine you must have heard of a canon from Muranga alikuwa anaitwa Canon Felix Nyoro. That Canon Felix Nyoro, the grandson is the one starting before you today. <laughs> na mimi najua na kulia baraka za guka yangu. Na kwa hivyo pia Reverend Dama Yes, mimi naona kijana yako in future atakuwa mjumbe pia ama governor or even higher. Mimi sitaongea mengi kwa sababu tuko wengi na tugekuwa tugependa sana uh, tupewe wengine nafasi lakini mheshimiwa deputy president hapa sisi tunasemanga ile iko kwa roho haifichiki mimi siku ya leo nimefurahi sana na nimefurahi kwa sababu juzi tuliona judiciary yetu ya nchi ya Kenya imesimama vizuri judiciary imesimama kitende na imesimama gangali na wao wakasaidi na wakenya wote wakasema ya kwamba rege lazima isimame hata kama wengine walikuwa wanajipiga kifua wanajiita system na wanajiita deep state mimi siku ya leo nimejua ya kwamba the real real system and the real real deep state ni ile tumefanya siku ya leo kwa kukuja hapa bele kunil na kuomba na nikitaka niulize hawa viongozi wote wa serikali na wale wengine wa opposition this bbi process was to consume over 10 billion Kenya shillings taxpayers money sasa hiyo pesa tugeomba there are so many kenyans who are not yet vaccinated hiyo pesa yote iende katika vaccination iende kwa kupea chanjo wa Kenya maneno hii yote ya corona na pia nikeomba ile itabaki kuna mahasala wengi ambao wamekuwa affected kwa mahii maneno ya corona hao watu wote lazima wasaidiwe na hiyo pesa ambayo itabaki our enterprises our mheshimiwa gereshi unaongereshwa pale pole sana asante gereshi najua leo huko na rida mzuri kabisa na hata hiyo kitaba caravan inakaa chojo sana madam governor <laughs> i was trying to say that the money that was to be consumed through hii maneno ya bbi na rege Tunaomba hiyo pesa yote 
kwa sababu rege imesimama na hakuna watu wa kuiba dance ya rege tena hiyo pesa ichukuliwe ipewe maneno ya vaccination ya corona kwa wakenya wote every responsible government now is not consuming public time with changing constitutions every leader across the world is putting up every effort to make the they are citizenly uh, vaccinated nikeoba hii maneno yote ilikuwa ya rege na hiyo pesa yote iende kwa chajo na ila itabaki iende ku support wanabiashara wetu ambao wamekuwa affected na hii maneno ya corona na nikeoba wenzetu wale wa ODM na wale wengine wa ile chama yetu ya kitambo ilikuwa inaitwa jubiri tunajua mnataka kuleta msuanda atibunge ya ku revive hiyo maneno ya rege tafadhali msikize wa Kenya wote wa Kenya wametoshwa na rege rege ya kuleta dhuru referendum rege ya kuleta dhuru bunge hatutaki maneno ya rege tunataka maneno ya vaccination tunataka maneno ya big four agenda kusimamisha maneno ya BBI even through the parliamentary process na ya mwisho kabisa yesterday i saw our dear leaders wengine walikuwa hapo bereni wanasema at you cannot buy a kikoyo you can only rent one i want to tell them you can neither buy a kikoyo neither can you rent one we si watu wa hapa mlima Kenya sio watu wa kukopeshwa na sio watu wa kununuliwa tumekuwa tukiona viongozi wakienda kwa mahoteli wanasema tunaunganisha mauti Kenya na wataka kuwauliza mauti Kenya wameona kweli kama imesabaratika mimi nikiangalia mlima Kenya naona ni ile ile tu iko solid na sisi watu wa mauti Kenya tumejipanga we do not need any broker and we do not need anyone to go negotiate anything for us we have already negotiated with our presidential candidate called William Samoei Ruto and we are not negotiating on who will become prime minister on who will become deputy president we are negotiating on how to revive our economy we are negotiating on how our coffee farmers will get better prices we are negotiating on how our milk farmers will stop getting 30 shillings when the producers are getting 120 per litre we want our farmers to get better value for their milk that is the kind of negotiation we are doing as leaders of mount kenya region tulimuona mukienda gatanga mukaenda na yura mtu wa rege mukasema ni yeye jana tumewaona mukisema hamukusema mukwe <laughs> mukue watu wa kuogea ukweli na hapa mimi nikiangalia hapa mount kenya region hao viongozi wao wote hiyo pesa mnakula maandazi kwa mahoteli mkisema mnaunganisha Mount Kenya region wataneni na madazi kujeni tufanye kazi ya wananchi kwa sababu 2022 tumejipanga na Hasra Nation William Samoei Ruto asanteni sana Thank you very much mimi niliwaambia Google does not forget so kama ulifanya ulifanya tunakujua tuliona si ndio Uh, thank you very much sasa i want to introduce a very dear lady to me ni senator but she's also a canon wa ACK church and a wife to a bishop uh, late bishop she also prayed for my mother akiwa hospitali karibu naomi wako bwana asifiwe god is good and all the time and that is his nature your excellency all the honorable members our as the clergy the lay, the lay readers and all the others ningetaka kuwa salamia kwa jina ya Yesu Kristo hamjambo kwa majina mimi ni Naomi wako zaidi ya hiyo mimi ni reverend canon and your excellency anglican church ni mahali mimi nimelelewa unajua when you talk of marsabit watu wanashangaa how you can be born and brought up in, in, in a church environment nimezaliwa nikalelewa kwa anglican church na isitoshe krinyaga is so special to me kwa sababu this is where i nurtured my faith and by that faith i am heading to heaven na sina haya ya kusema that i am the way i am 
because of that faith. My belief in Jesus Christ is what has brought me this far, and by faith, I'm going even further. Ninajua mwengi wenu munanijua. I'm sure muna kumbuka the late bishop wako. Na mimi, nimekuwa ordained kwa hii kanisa. Na munajua the late archbishop gitari, ndio alini ordained. St. Thomas Cathedral, that is wakati my late bishop alifanywa bishop. Na munajua, Krinyaga is my second home. Our best couple comes from this place, Krinyaga. And so, this is my second home. Na yangu ni kuambia hivi, that waanglikana tunapenda mungu. Na tunasimama na ukweli. Mambo ya church na politics. I'm sure munajua vizuri kama theologians. And in Anglican Church, there are three things that guide us. Tradition, reason, and scripture. That is what guides us. Na jana, juzi muliona the miracle that God did. Kama kuna watu kati yetu awamini kuna mungu somewhere. Can you just believe for the first time that there is God in heaven? Because through BBI and what happened, tunajua ya kwamba kuna mungu. Naona kuna harakati ya kuarakisha mimi. Na ninasema hivi, kwa sababu mimi ni kano ntafadhali na omba uniongeze da kika moja. Na hiyo position ya AS, wakati nilikuwa marsabit, niliweza kukua AS in this same diocese. Na wakati nilienda all saints, cathedral diocese, I was serving as the administrative secretary before I resigned kukua nominated senator. Kwa hivyo ninashukuru kanisa na ninashukuru watu wa kirinyaga because of your stand and your principles. Ninataka kumalizia nikisema hivi. Musichoke na kuomba. Because it is true prayers that we are where we are today. And it is through your prayers that our deputy president will be our fifth president. Wana wa Israeli, muna kumbuka story ya Exodus chapter 14, bile mungu alifafungulia Red Sea. It didn't matter how heavy the winds were, it didn't matter how deep the sea was, but mungu alifafungulia. And in the same way, mungu atafungulia Hasla Nation na tutavuka na tutaokipai the state house. Mungu awabariki na akue na nyingi. Asanti sana, sasa tukue na rigadhi, gashawa kutoka hapa, ninibayangu pande ya ndia. the clergy, your excellency, the deputy president, colleagues, adua mwea na wanguru, gaini mwega, na hii dishi othe. Mimi ni kufrai sana, wangui, na buwana yake Andrew ni marafiki zangu, waninialika tukue hapa pamoja, na tumefrai kufika, na nimelete salamu kutoka nyeri, mume pokea. Na mimi, hii kirinyaga, ni mkaaji wa hapa, Nilisoma hapa kianyaga high school mwaka sita, form 1 to 6. Nikakuwa diyo pale gichugu mwaka tatu, kwa hivyo nimekaa hapa karibu mwaka tisa. Kwa hivyo nikiwa area mimi ni mwenyeji, na kwa hivyo nimefrai kufika. Your Excellency, when wangui aliniambia tukuje, nikamuambia na omba mungu nikuwe hapa kwa sababu, mimi ni muti ya kushika kwa Friday. Na kama kuna mutu wa melete wa shida na hivi biya ili mimi. Na kwa hivyo sisi tunashukuru mungu ya kwamba our judges in the court of appeal refused to buy fear. There was a lot of intimidation that they can rule differently and they refused to buy fear. They protected and upheld the constitution that they saw on taking all of office. And your excellency we are happy as a country that we are now sure we have an independent judiciary such that if things go out of way, if there is impunity, there is somewhere the people of Kenya can run to. That is a victory for this country and we want to urge our judges to continue being steadfast, to continue upholding and protecting the constitution so that those who are bent on impunity have no place to run to. To get up to the nafasi kwa sababu hii reggae na BBI na handshake. Imetupotezea wakati mwingi sana wa maendeleo.
Tungetaka kumuomba rais wetu kwa heshima. Rais wetu tunakupenda. Vile hii BBI na hadithi kimezama. Wachana naye sasa. Urudi kwa ile kazi tulikochagulia. Na sana sana kazi ya kuvua uchumi. Watu hapa mlima Kenya your excellency. Kama kuna watu wameumia kwa mambo ya uchumi ni watu ya Mount Kenya. Hata hawa watu ya Mwea. Rais alikuja hapa akatangaza mambo mingi sana ya mchele. Watu wale ya rais hawakutekeleza hiyo maneno. Walienda kwa mambo ya BBI. Walienda kwa mambo ya rege. Sasa tungetaka warudi waangalie mambo ya kufufua uchumi. Na tungetaka pia kumuomba rais tafadhali. Tungetaka uige mfano ya mzee Mwai Kibaki. Rais Mwai Kibaki alifanya kazi mingi sana na tunamuombea na tunamshukuru na tunamkumbuka kwa hekma. Wakati wake ulipofika wa kuondoka. Hakusukuma sisi pahali tutapiga kura ama alitusukuma. Huyu mzee aliondoka pole pole akaenda kwake pale Moiga mpaka wa sasa anapumzika anaheshimika. Tunamuomba rais wetu tafadhali. Vile tulikupatia mwaka kumi uliomba sisi. Ushukuru hiyo miaka kumi na utosheke. Hii ingine utuachie. Tuchague yule ambaye tunapenda. Kwa sababu hiyo ni demokrasia. Na pia tungetaka kumuomba huyu governor wenu wa Iguru huyu Kamodho. Tungetaka kuomba yeye. Nyinyi mstuaibishe mkuu wa Angwana. Vile sisi tumekuwa wa Angwana. Sisi tulifanya mkataba na huyu William Ruto kama watu ya mlima Kenya. Na ndio tumesimama na yeye. Tukasema tutaunga yeye mkono uhuru wa kistaafu. Nyinyi mumeenda pale Muranga. Mumeahidi Raira mtaunga yeye mkono. Wewe governor Iguru, wewe Nderitu Murithi, wewe Jeremia Kioni, wewe Kanini Kega. Baada ya siku na nyoro, sasa baada ya siku tatu mnaruka mnasema hamu kusema. Si hii maneno ya kutuaibisha. Nyinyi kama mlimwaidi Raila. Msimundaganye huyu mzee ameumia miaka mingi. Mkuu wa Angwana. Mkuu wa Angwana, mumeenda pale ilikuwa live kwa citizen for six hours. Hamkuona mliona nyinyi? Mkamwaidi huyu Raila mtaunga yeye mkono na mkasema mko na wafuasi hapa Kirinyaga na Ikipia. Tafadhali kuweni wa Angwana msituaibishe. Nyinyi muunge huyu mkono mpaka mwisho msiruke eh kwa sababu ni makosa kuruka mtu na mamwaidi na sisi wale wengi mamilioni tuliahidi William Ruto tuunge eh mkono mpaka mwi alafu tukutane kwa debe si debe iko eh mambo na kutire na, na modo wena mwana mgogo nikuri tushemani yake tushemani yake adwa akire nyagani mkuru wa mwana modo kuto ruto mwenake Ona shabio. Ona igiro igenyo. Ona nyururio. Ona agirio kudio wada. Ona horo ne goka kanidaini. Ona horo ne kwali horo ama. Wa goyo yo no moku moroyo. Ni ageretie. Mwena mo bako nake. We ka odumune siria. Eh? Ni moku bonyitirira. Since your excellency yetu ni kuongea ukweli. Mimi wananishakaka ni kuongea ukweli. Sitaki kuongea hapa, taongea jioni kirembe. Eh? Mambo nitasema huko, mambo ya BBI. Nimekuwa na ajalie? Ndwale rukuruwanyu kirembe. Asante sana Mungu awabariki asanteni. Asante sana. Ningependa sasa ni introduce Senator uh, Senator Susan Kiheka, incoming governor of Nakuru County. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, the clergy, uh, the vicar, as well as the Administrative Secretary, na clergy water, viongozi wa kanisa, all the Christians, our fellow Christians, God is good, and all the time. Sasa nimetoka upande wa nakuru, na nimefurai sana kuwa na nyinyi siku ya leo, na nimetumwa hapa na salamu za watu wa nakuru. Mumezipokea. Um, I'm also like the administrative secretary said. Pia mimi leo, your excellency, nimefurai sana kuwa kwa hii kanisa. After such a landmark week yenye tumekuwa nayo. Na nimesikiza sana pia mukiongea ata mukituombea. 
you know sometimes you're not sure na kwa ukweli uh, one of our general here mheshimiwa Gashagua umesema you worked here for a long time uh, dede you are a neighbor on the other side pss on the other side sasa mimi nikakaa hapo nikaanza kushindwa sasa nitakuja na story gani ya Kirenyaga hata mimi niseme you know lakini nikakumbuka nilisomea nyeri sio qualifies kidogo <laughs> so the truth is we di- we don't really know when you're not nearby kama pengine tumeenda tu mbele sana na nyinyi hamuko nyuma yetu but when i have listened to you preaching as well as to the prayers nimejua kabisa as church na pia as our fellow kenyans we did not go ahead of those that gave us the positions that we hold today na pia niseme asante sana because it is your prayers that have given us the confidence and the courage to stand up to the powers that be na na friday tukajua the power of the people is more powerful than those in power na sasa as we stand here today mimi yangu ni very brief because we are very many ningetaka tu very respectfully niongeleshe his excellency mheshimiwa uhuru kenyata ni same as a country we have suffered for the last three years without a vision without the right priorities since march 9th of 2019 when the handshake came we have suffered because we abandoned that that could have helped kenyans which was really the big four agenda that he began very well at the beginning of his term lakini we still have 10 more months to the next elections kwa hivyo naomba my president whom we love kindly it is time to get back on track it is time to refocus it is time to salvage your legacy because your legacy cannot be handshake your legacy cannot be a bbi whose aim was to mutilate the constitution of the republic of kenya so we shall support you for the remaining 9 to 10 months your excellency but as we put back this country on track and say corona is now killing people without mchezo and i'm sure mnajua hivyo so we ask you and we ask them the cs for help in this country we need to know what the road map is in getting kenyans vaccinated so that we can open up our country and let the hustlers be able to get back out there and make a living kwa hivyo tunasema kama parliament in any way that we are called upon to do we shall support but we need to prioritize vaccination of our people in this country like any responsible leader anywhere in the world is na nikimalizia kwa sababu niko hapa Kirinyaga pia niseme tumeona wengi wakizunguka tu wakizunguka siwaoni ukwanyu na waona tu wakizunguka wakisema vile ndio leaders wa Mount Kenya na ndio watasema kwenye Mount Kenya itaenda. Na wengine pia wakitutukana wakijaribu kutuuzia uoga au kuuzia wale wengine uoga the other tribes and saying that you can only see you rent a kikuyu and not buy one. My friend, na unajijua. We can neither be bought nor be rented. Na mpatie wa kikuyu or wa Mount Kenyans heshima. And you go back to the people and talk to the people and let them guide you. Sasa muache kuanza kukimbia kimbia mkisema hamukisema zenye mlisema cause tuliwaona. But Kirenyaga mumeshikilia cause nakuru waliniambia niulize. Tusiwe ni sisi tu nakuru tumeshikilia cause tumeshikilia 100%. Mumeshikilia William Ruto. Giafio. Hata rena idero. Na mutigwe ko intimidation muetigere. Kana moke buhen yo goku atene ku heo ngatu heya go besha Friday to kauga ni turamu support no ground dire nake. Oguo mwe nake. Nigeria do anaikuru kirenya ga ina DP ruto. Gei karathi kairetu ga kaka my sister haha. Tada kamuno. Ni dai gua ona kadidha ni kanyitirire muno. Ni mugo kanyitirira. Na githe mutikio wikiri akarenda. Ona ithwe ni towe. So I pray and we continue with the prayers mutonyi terere his excellency william ruto na mutonyi terere wa goi wa girishi 
God bless you. Thank you so much. And we stand with you. Thank you. Asante sana, Her Excellency. Kwa sasa, I need to introduce the latest, our newcomer, our latest in the Hustler Nation, ambaye tulikuwa kule kiamba kuambia watu kwamba Mount Kenya wamekubali. Kawanjiko. The first gentleman in Bunge kuitwa kwa jina ya mama Kawanjiko. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you Mheshimu Angerese. Your Excellency the Deputy President, our clergy, wa kiongozi na Leverad Canon na wa viongozi wote na wa Kristo wote. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is good and all the time yangu kwanza ni kuwashukuru watu wa Kirinyaga maana najua wakati tulikuwa na marumbano kule kwetu Kiamba mlituombea si mlikuwa mnatuombea na mkatupatia mheshimiwa Ngerese akakuja tukasukumana kule Kiamba kwa hivyo ninawashukuru sana na niseme ya kwamba Mungu awabariki yangu ni machache your excellency najua biblia inasema in the book of ecclesiastes 9:11 that the lace is not to the sweet nor the battle to the strong no food to the wise no fever to men of understanding but time and chances happens to us all kwa hivyo sisi tunajua ya kwamba tukingangana tukiendelea na kungangana na mambo ambayo tunangangana kama vile tulikimbizwa kiamba na Mungu akatupea ushindi hii intimidation kidogo kuletwa juu na polisi kama vile mheshimiwa regadhi amesema wewe vumilia tuna uhakika ya kwamba mwaka ujao wa 2022 ya kwamba Mungu atatupea ushindi yangu ni kuuliza ya kwamba hii maneno ya BBI tumemaliza lakini pia tungeuliza uh, wizara the ministry of health to come up with an elaborate plan on how to vaccinate the millions of hustlers Dio pia na wao warudi kazini yao tuanze kurudi kwa biashara zetu so that we can also be able you know to feed our family and to move on with our life but tukijiweka kwa Mungu tuna uhakika ya kwamba Mungu atatushindania come 2022 God bless you na Mungu awabariki Asante sana sasa ningependa niende huko western niwaletee Didmas Barasa Barasa Asante sana kanisa letu la SK na waumini wote naibu wetu wa rais akiwemo tumusifu Yesu Kristo Mimi vile vile nimefurahi kukuwa hapa nimepata maombi ambayo itanisaidia kusonga kule mbele And when you see these priests they have been given the powers by god to preach the word of god the doctrine of exercising donated power is that you have to exercise it to make the person who gave you that power happy and to enrich him ile wa kenya mulipiga kura mulipatia rais uhuru kenyata nguvu ya kikatiba na rais anatakana kutumia ile nguvu kuwafurahisha wa Kenya kwa kufufua uchumi kwa kuboresha biashara zao na sio kutumia ile nguvu kuwaumiza na kuwaganamiza wa Kenya Leo wale wa mama ambao wameumia na kupigwa jioni na polisi kwa mambo mambo ya kafiri ni wengi zaidi kuliko wale ambao kuliko wale ambao wanatakana wasaidiwe na serikali ya kuboresha biashara zao we should not use the constitutional power that the Kenyans have given to us to intimidate other people that have no basis to be affected by our actions hiyo ndio kitu ambayo ni muhimu sana rais ningeomba rais uhuru kenyata aangalie hii mambo ya ya vaccination ya health sector rais wa afya ametoa mwongozo na mpangilio vile wa Kenya watapata chanjo ya COVID-19. Amesema anaanza na wale wafanyikazi wale wakubwa wa serikali, wale madaktari, wale walimu, ati mama mboga waje mgogoteni au ati nyinyi mtakuja baadaye. 
lakini ikifika wakati ya kuchukua ushuru hawachelewi wanafika mapema na kuchukua ushuru kwa wale wakina mama wale hawajalipa ushuru biashara yao inachukuliwa kwa hivyo rais huru kanyata pesa ambayo ungetumia kwa maswala ya BBI nunua vaccine za covid 19 vaccine milioni 40 no vaccinate kila mtu regardless of the position his or her holds in the society sababu covid 19 haichagui mwalimu haichagui mfanyabiashara haichagui mtu wa boda boda inashika mtu yote yule na uambie wafanyikazi wako wote wa serikali kama kuna kitu ambayo wanafaa waketi chini wapange ni wapange kufufua mambo ya big four wasikuwa wanapanga vile wataangamiza naibu rais wasipange vile wataangamiza sisi watu ambao tunatembea na naibu rais wapange mipangilio ya kufurahisha wa Kenya ambao wamepatia yale mamlaka yangu ya mwisho nataka nyinyi muunge mkono huyu naibu rais huyu naibu rais huyu si mkirinyaga si mkikuyu na hiyo si makosa yake makosa ni ya mama yake ambaye alikataa kuolewa hapa angeolewa hapa huyu na Ibrahim angekuwa mkirinyaga kwa hivyo hiyo si makosa yake makosa yake lakini nimeambiwa alikosa transport ya kuja huku akapata mzee mgeni ndo Samoei hapo Eldoret ndio akaolewa kwa ile mzee Samoei ndio maana yeye ni mkale kwa hivyo tumuone kama mkenya ambaye ako na jukumu ya kuboresha maisha yetu Mungu akichoka Mungu alichoka na account ya assemblies aitaka kutumia kaunti ya assemblies wasimamishe rege kaunti ya assemblies wakusikia akataka kutumia bunge yetu ya kitaifa na senate kusimamisha rege bunge haikusikia and god is a god of options ametumia mahakama ya kuzika rege ya kuzika bbi katika kaburi ya sahau kabisa na naambia rais uhuru kenyata awachane na mambo ya bbi sasa a focus kwa kukarabati uchumi kwa wana kenya ambao umezoroteka katika leo hii ya sahi Mungu awabariki sana. Asante sana. Sasa niwaitie rafiki yangu sana ambaye amekuja hapa siku nyingine na nyingine lakini leo amekuja pamoja na sisi anaitwa Her Excellency Incoming Governor of Nyandarua Faith Gitao. Your Excellency and the clergy na duamwe againi mwega na hede ciothe ni mukenete muno muno ah uh, mimi naitwa Faith Wairimu Getao kana mami mwega kutoka Nyandarwa mimi ndio mama county huko na leo hii nimefurahi sana kuja hapa kwa rafiki yangu and there is one thing that i am not ashamed of and i think there are few things one thing is that i am not ashamed that i was conceived in mwea and born in nyandarwa i am not ashamed of the other thing is that i'm not ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ i am not ashamed that i am a born again christian the other thing is that i am not ashamed that i belong to the hustler nation of kenya under the leadership of his excellency the deputy president who is my friend fourthly i am not ashamed that i opposed bbi kabisa nikaigonga gemehora ginye gitoga dogo tulitukanwa tuliitwa yote na wale waliotuita wa kwanza alikuwa mjumbe wa hapa kwenu mwea ametutukana yake yote sasa ako wapi Mwingine ambaye ametutukana yake yote ni executive wa hapa kwenu Mwea. But I thank God that he is a defender of the weak. He gives us strength when we are so weak. 
and we thank God that he's been with us this walk of BBI. It's been tough for us. It's been so confusing, but God stood with us. He fought all our battles. We've climbed mountains. We've gone through valleys, but God stood with the people of Kenya. And I really want to thank the judiciary. Ao, diyo wanajua ile wimbo ya national anthem. Defending the constitution. Wache sasa tushikane sisi wote. Na tunaambia wale wote ambao walikuwa wanatutukana. Sisi hatuna makasiriko kujeni kwetu tutawa karibisha. Lakini mujue mutaka wapi pale nyuma. Ya mwisho. Mimi nasihi sana na naomba. Rafiki yangu mwingine ambaye ni rais wa hii nchi ya Kenya. Tafadhali Your Excellency kuja nyumbani. Umeperekwa sana jangwani. Wamekuzungusha ukasahau your promises to the people of Kenya. Saa hii nimepitia hapa nikikuja naona watu wa Mwea hapa hawana maji. Kamwe wanaosha nguo zao na maji taka. President tafadhali rudi nyumbani. Tutakuonyesha ni wapi umepotea jia. Nataka kukubusha tu maneno ya vijana. Hawana kazi kamwe. And you promised industrialization. Ukianza hiyo tu hawa vijana wote watapata kazi na watakusapo. Tafadhali our president come back home. We love you. Wachana na hawa watu. Wana, ata 1963 Hawakuwa wana support serikali ya, ya Kenya kwa hivyo hata wewe hawawezi kukusupport hata wakiwa na wewe wanajua kile wanataka sio vile wanakupenda wanataka legacy yako iwe zero tafadhali rudi nyumbani tunakupenda kwa hayo ma, mengi machache naomba msamaha naenda kwetu nyu, uh, nyandarwa ni manye dete muno dena function ko na nomu hakadhi lakini leo nimekuja kwa sababu ya rafiki yangu she is my sister na waomba na wasihi mujitei wokotu no ahote ile da hotete mujitei woko kiamo isho ne moko nyiterera his excellency kana no nya darwa tura ugo au twe hamwe asante ni sana mungu awabariki thank you very much asante sana her excellency faith getao Incoming Governor Nyandarwa. Next, we are going to have Wama School. Wama Shukuru. Where are you? Karibu sana kwetu mwea. Kwa musere. Uh, Your Excellency, Deputy President, uh, Viongozi wa Kanisa, na wa Kristo wenzangu, God is good. And all the time, tuseme leo mimi nimefrai kwa mahubiri ya leo, kwamba our god cares kwamba mungu tayari amesikia kilio chetu and our god is concerned nataka ni mwambie uh, his excellency kwamba he is our moses of today we are the israelites of today mambo ambayo tunapitia kiuchumi vile ambapo tumefinyika your excellency deputy president such a time as this next year utatukomboa kutoka kwa huu utumwa mnaamini hivyo jambo la mwisho ni sembe kwamba uh, katika kabete na najua inaendelea katika constituency zingine unakuta watu wanafariki kila mahali ni maombolezi 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 na haya maombolezi si kutukana na ugonjwa wengine wowote ni ugonjwa wa covid Ukienda katika duka za majeneza hakuna majeneza yamekusha yangu ni kuunga wenzangu mkono kwamba pesa ambayo imetuliwa ya kufanya uh, ilikuwa ya BBI inunue vaccine na watu wa Kenya wapatiwe ndiposa tuweze kumaliza 
hii ugonjwa. Mungu awabariki. Demoli yangu itoka vete, tulauga tu hii dhuda wa hasra. Inyo goko mauga atea? Niko mauga? Mwe dhuda wake? 2022. Nemo mwedete? Ni mwedete mutumio yo. Ni mwedete kaye tugaka. Ni mukaye tewega. Ni mwaka hehe dewege. God bless you. Asante sana wa mashukuru. Tunakupenda pia. Sasa niite rafiki yangu, sister yangu, our neighbor Mukami wa Mashinani. Mwadani ya gosho. Gai ni mwega. Kai mutare ya kenu. Heka rwiboga yeko yugwe daga toine. Toine. Dine dona gaito yo. Dine dona. Dine dona gaito yo. Uga nga nageka. Koi nga bibia e neko gwa. Bibiba e kagwa. Dine dona gaito yo. Uga nga. Awa kraji, kibu wa rais na waheshimua wenzangu, mimi naitu wa mukami maendereo mashinani, mama county kutoka nyeri. Mimi leo nikuwa niende nyeri. Na diyo unaona tumekuja hapa na muheshimua rigadhi. Unajua sisi na muheshimua rigadhi, sisi ndio tunakuanga mahasora tanga tanga kure nyeri county. Leo tukasema tunakuja hapa. Mimi nataka kuchukuru awa kraji, juya vile ametuhorubiria. Yetu, Sio sisi na sio sisi tumetenda ni Mungu ametutendea. Na naibu wa rais sijui kama unakumbuka kuna wakati ulikuwa Meru. Meru ndio kulikuwa rege ya mwisho. Mnakumbuka? Na naibu wa rais akasema rege ilishia Meru. Naibu wa rais yule Mungu we uomba. Vile ametutendea uendelee kuomba huyo Mungu. Mimi sitaki kuongea maneno mingi juu toko kwa kanisa lakini ningetaka tu kuambia vile mmetuombea muga tonyiterera na mahoya hiyo ndio sababu ilifanya Mungu atu, atuhinde na atuongoze na atuonekanie todo gai aroraga goro adwaisike Mungu angalia roho kwa sababu wakati wenye tulikuwa tunasema BBI haiwezekani BBI sio priority kule tukisema no tulipigwa sana lakini Mungu ametupanguza machozi ya mwisho ningetaka kusema tafadhali huyu ni rafiki yangu sana my sister mwenye ananifuata anaitwa Wangui fungeni masikio mkubuke tu kitu moja amewahi kuatendea kama vile Kraja ameongea hapa akasema vile Wangui amejenga kanisa muangalia Wangui msiangalie mtu mwingine na Wangui huwa ako na kirenyaga ndani yake na Mungu akiwa mbele tutatoboa. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Asanti sana my sister. Kwa saa hii ningependa niite Honorable Aisha Jumwa ambaye ni incoming governor of Kilifi County. Asante sana mheshimiwa Wangoi the clergy our deputy president of the Republic of Kenya colleagues washirika wa wa uh, waumini wenzangu bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe sana nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana nataka nichukue nafasi hii kwanza kabla sijaenda Uh, mimi sitaongea lakini nataka leo nimshukuru Mungu kwa alio tutendea kwa hali ya kipekee. Wacha kwanza niwapeleke katika kitabu cha Wafilipi 4 mstari wa 4 hadi wa saba Unasema furahini katika Bwana siku zote. Tena anasema furahini. Bwana anasisitiza tufurahi. Upole wenu ufahamike kwa watu wote. Bwana anakaribia kuja, msifadhaike juu ya jambo lolote. Lakini msifadhaike juu ya jambo lolote. Lakini katika kile jambo mjulisheni Mungu haja zenu kwa kusali pamoja na kuomba na kushukuru. Na amani ya Mungu ambayo inapita fahamu ufahamu wote 
italinda mioyo yenu na nia zenu kwa Kristo Yesu. Kanisa tuliomba tulimlilia Mungu na tukamshukuru. Na kwa sababu Bwana ametenda. Na kwa sababu Bwana amejibu Your Excellency the clergy kanisa naomba tusimame kwa sababu tunamwamini Mungu nataka tu tuimbe pamoja tu dance na nyinyi wimbo ulioimbwa na Johnson Nelson I believe Twende kanisa please Thank you so much. Thank you so much, DJ. Hallelujah. Asante sana. Mimi nimesema leo sitaongea. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa nataka tu mjue vile mimi ninampenda Mungu na kwa sababu amenitendea na fija na mliniona na hiyo itaendelea for one week. Mimi nitamtukuza Mungu kwa njia hiyo kwa wiki nzima. Wajue kwamba hatukuwa tumekaa. Na nataka ni muombe rais wetu. Hii Kenya imeumia. Nataka sitaki kusema kwamba sisi wa Kenya tumejiumiza lakini tumeumizwa akiangalia Imefika wakati sasa tuamini ya kwamba kunaye Mungu anayeishi na alie mtetezi kwa watu wake. Rais tunakuomba kuteleza sio kuanguka. Umeteleza lakini haujaanguka bado. Na mimi nataka niseme it is not too late to do what is right your excellency please mumejaribu mengi sana mungu amekataa usiendelee kushindana na yeye tumgeukie mungu naibu wa rais ni naibu wako ni naibu wetu pia mimi ninachokiomba 
the clergy kanisa maimam wazee wenye busara katika taifa letu la Kenya ni wakati kama hamutapata nafasi ya kuingia state house ongeeni ajue mnamtafuta rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya katika taifa letu la Kenya mkae naye na mumwambie hii ndiyo njia nyumba inaokaa pamoja kuomba pamoja baraka zinashuka kuna neema nimeamua kuwa mhubiri na mimi kama naibu wa rais anavyosema nimeahidi pia Mungu atakaponipeleka paka siku moja niwe rais katika nchi yetu ya Kenya nikimaliza naenda kufungua kanisa nihubiri ningoje nikufa Kwa hivyo nataka naomba niombi klaji sasa mtafuteni rais wa nchi ya Kenya mumwambie enough is enough Mahali tumefika taifa linaangamia na ugonjwa wa corona tunamuomba pesa zile ambazo labda zingekuwa zinahangaika afanyie kazi wananchi wa Kenya kwa sababu tuko na kama miezi kumi kuenda kuchagua utawala mwingine ili tumkumbuke si kwa maovu ila kwa mema na mazuri nasi maombi yetu yatakuwa naye siku zote barikiweni sana na Mungu kwa mbinguni awaachie neema nataka ni huyu dadangu mimi sina aibu pia kwa sababu amesimama ameonesha uongozi wa ujasiri mimi nataka ni muombee kura za ugavana ndani ya Kirinyaga na naibu wa rais awe rais wangu katika jamhuri na hilo sisi na Mungu naona ametupa tunangoja wakati barikiwe ni sana Asante sana incoming governor wa Kilifi County your excellency thank you na sasa nimebakisha wale ambao ni neighbors kuna mushiri ambaye ni kutoka hapa Embu na kuna Kingangi ambaye ni neighbor yetu pande ile ya Karava nikikutaja unakuja pande hii alafu tumebakisha pia yule ambaye kutoka pande ya Kisi Mr Osoro ambaye pia ni advocate of the high court na pia ni ambaye alipigana na hii bibi sana tafadhali kujeni hapa nyinyi nawapatia kila mtu ndeka moja moja mkimaliza then we shall have our locals watusalimie ah sorry we have the only masai in the house anaitwa Mary senator ambaye ni senator karibu Mary asanti mheshimiwa ngarishi uh, the clergy wambunge Uh, our fifth president of the Republic of Kenya uh, mi naambiwa ni harakisha na ngirishi unajua ukipata nini shinda hapa ni mimi niko karibu mimi ni jirani eh ngaidi mwega na vindisio nde mimi sitasungumza sana uh, lakini tu ningetaka kusema kitu kimoja kwa sababu yamesungumzwa mambo mengi na uh, ukiwa mwisho wa kuzungumza unaweza kosa kitu ya, kus, ya kunena Number one, your excellency the deputy president kwa unjasiri na nguvu za Mwenyezi Mungu wewe utakuwa the vice president I have no doubt and we have no doubt tunahesabu masaa muda ndio tunaona unaenda pole pole eh tuliona bombers of Kenya na asante wakati ulikuwa reverend unaomba you mentioned bombers of Kenya pale tuliona a well calculated move to embarrass our deputy president lakini ulisimama kidete ukasema yale mashimu umeona kwa hiyo BBI na wakati unapoongea na watu wakawa kama wanataka kubu wewe tuliona our president na Raida wakipika makofi ni ukweli ama si ukweli si nyinyi mnaangalia TV kwa mle kiridhia kidete guo Mungu atakutoa mbali atakutoa chini akupeleke juu Hatuna neno lakini sisi tunajua kura zetu zote bali sisi watu ya Kirinyaga, Mount Kenya East na Central. Ya mwisho our governors kutoka Mount Kenya East na West. That is the lanja Mount Kenya wacheni kudanganya uhuru mwingai Kenyatta. Mungefanya vizuri sana mungemuita eh keheri nikalia tuga kakando mumwambie mambo sio mzuri. Hatutaki embarrassment kama ilikuwa na moyo tu utu pale ya gari kutupiwa matope na wakenya rundi nyumbani tuzungumze 
sisi tunajua kwa nini tunakupenda tunakuita unaitika hata simu yako ikiwa mtenja Faruku atatupigia kwambie kuja sasa uone deputy president na wewe mwenyewe unatujibu kwa simu kwa hivyo hiyo tu ndio tunakupenda sio pesa TDP anatupea tuweke kwa mfuko tunakuitaji unatusikiza alituachia kepisho alituachia matiangi alituachia kina murathe alituachia kina tuju wameangusa serikali yake kwa hivyo sasa letu ni kumwambia rudi nyumbani mesikia kila mbunge hapa amesema hivyo our brother rudi nyumbani thank you and god bless you Uh, the Reverend DS and clergy na Cristiano agukukirinyana mukedia muriaro Bwana Yesu asifiwe The Lord is good and all the time ni bita kwa kingangi na kugwe to twitter na goguo kuri njoka kuri ngari kuri nyamujo ciothe na twikara muciumwe to tiura nagia to reandwa ayo constituency ya kwa niaba eh ngwishe ni mwishe aba karaba bere south uko bottom kogo mukegwa mukisikia deputy president anasema bottom up ni kusema ataanza hapa mbere akija huku lakini your excellency si tulikuwa bottom lakini economy kwa sababu ya hii serikali imepigwa pigwa hata watu wa Kirinyaga walikuwa hapo wamerudi nini bottom kwa hivyo tunahitaji maneno ya bottom up nataka kuunga rafiki yangu uh, mheshimiwa mkono pesa bilioni kumi ambayo ilikuwa imewekewa kwa hii mpango irudishwe kwa NHIF na sisi tukurudishwa tu tusikie imepelekwa kwa ofisi tunataka kila mtu wa bottom huo uh, bottom alipiwe kadi ya NHIF mwaka mmoja eh kwa sababu hii corona imetuangusha sana na hakuna saa hii mtu wako juu hata ukisikia bottom up labda next year ndio utawekwa juu saa hii zote tuko bottom hiyo pesa ikuje tulipue kadi tuweze kupambana na hii kitu inaitwa corona ya pili mambo ya ya vaccination saa hii tunaenda ngambo unajua wao wajumbe wanaenda ngambo ukienda ngambo unaulizwa vaccination na una test na unakuta watu wanafanya biashara tukifanya vaccination hii inji itaweza kufungua uchumi itafunguka tukifanya vaccination na tunaomba uhuru tafadhali tuletee vaccine ndio tu, tupate hiyo dawa tufungue uchumi na ya mwisho tufungue kanisa. Hii mambo ya kufungua kanisa ni mbaya sana. Kwa sababu sasa unaambiwa weka one third. Kanisa zingine ziko na watu kumi Ukiweka one third ni pasa amepaki peke yake. Hiyo kanisa itaendelea. Na wakati tunawacha hiyo two thirds huko nje wanapata wengine. Na ubiriwa ya ijiri ingine wana nini? Wanapotea. Sasa project kama hii yawezekani na watu tatu. Kwa hivyo tufanye vaccination tupewe nchi hiyo kani na kanisa ifungulwe asante sana na huyu dada yangu huyu huyu mwana wako mudhura na mkaamona mpita kwa kingangi na mkaamia mpita kwa bwana asifiwe kanisa naitwa mheshimiwa Mary Seneta kutoka Kajiado County na mpokee salamu sa Kajiado County mwepokea mimi ningependa tu kusema kitu kimoja manake wenzangu wamesungumza ningependa kusema kwamba county government zetu zote walikuwa wametenga pesa kila weekend kamati fulani wanaenda kusurura kuusa BBI Viongozi walikuwa wanaenda kwa mahoteli kubwa kubwa kwenda kuongea mambo ya BBI. Viongozi wachache walikuwa wamepewa budget. Sijui ya kuwa coordinators, sijui chairmen, sijui chair ladies. Regions kila mtu alikuwa amepewa budget. 
Naomba kwa sababu Mungu ametuonekania. Na kanisa asandeni manake mmesimama na sisi. Na koti pia wamesimama na inchi. Warudishe hiyo pesa iende katika vikundi vya wamama, iende katika vikundi vya vijana, iende katika kasi ya kuinua mahospitali zetu. Dispensary zetu kila kona ya kaunti iwekwe dawa, iwekwe vitanda, iwekwe oxygen zile mahospitali zetu kubwa. Asandeni sana mnapoendelea kuomba mkamsaidie huyu mama rafiki yangu. Mimi nimekuja Kirinyaga mara ine sasa. Akinileta kila kona ya Kirinyaga tuje tusaidie wananchi wa Kirinyaga. Wengine wakiongea mambo ya Mlima Kenya sijui chama ya Mlima Kenya huyu amekuwa akiongea mambo yenu. Na ningependa kumaliza kwa kusema hivi. Sisi 2017 na 2013 tulimchagua rais wetu kupitia chama ambaye ilikuwa na makabila yote. Saa hii nikisikia wengine wanasema sijui mlima Kenya muwe sijui na chama ndio muweze kuongelea mambo ya uongozi. Sasa kama wamasai watakuwa na chama yao, wakisi wakuwe na yao, marsabit wakuwe na yao, mlima Kenya wakuwe na yao, hivyo ndio tulimchagua rais. Tulimchagua tukiwa ndani ya jubilii kwa sababu tulimpenda tukumchagua kwa sababu tulikuwa katika vyama vyote. Kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki sana. Sawa tu. Haya. Mimi niko sawa, niko kwa kanisa hii kitu imeombewa na Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Mimi ninaitwa Silvana Zosoro. Mimi ni mbunge kutoka Kisii County, South Mugrango Constituency. Na kwa sababu kuko na pressure ya wakati na mumesikiza maneno nyingi mimi sitaongea mingi leo wakati nilikuwa nakuja hapa Kirinyaga nilikuwa nimeogopa kidogo hata wakati nilikuwa naingia kanisa nilikuwa gari yangu iko nyuma kidogo kwa sababu niliambiwa kwa sababu governor wenu hapa amesema hii ni county ya Raila Odinga nilikuwa nimeogopa mawe na nikaweka nikaogopa nikiingia watu watapiga gari langu mawe lakini nimekuja nimepata nyinyi ni watu wa pole na nyinyi kumbe amko huko tulikuwa tunaona tv tu na tumejua ukweli leo. Wahubiri pia wamezungumza hapa akiwemo pasta Aisha kwa sababu leo nimejua wewe ni mchungaji. Asipo dance atakuwa mchungaji tena kabisa. E, katika Biblia hiyo tu kwa sababu hata mimi nataka kuendelea hiyo sequence. Kuna jamaa alikuwa anaitwa Jonah. Jonah alikuwa na Mungu alimtuma aende ni neva. Jonah alikataa. Alimezwa na samaki. Our president was given a mandate. Mungu alikuwa anamtuma aokoe watu wake, watu wa Kenya. Kulikuwa na indications nyingi sana ya kwamba hii direction ambayo unaenda sio mzuri. Lakini yeye alisema hapana, mimi ndio najua. Sasa samaki amekutapika through bibi yae ya kutupwa kule kotini. Na kwa sababu samaki amekutapika, it is not too late. It is not too late. Kwa sababu wakati uliambiwa uende ni never badala ufuate hiyo njia ya Nineva ulitoa mheshimiwa eh, senator Kihika kiongozi kutoka senate ukatoa usoro komiti ukatoa watu wote sisi wote wenye tulikuwa tunamwambia ukashika rigadhi gashagwa enda Nineva unashika rigadhi enda Nineva unashika ndidi enda Nineva unashika hii sasa ndio hiyo samaki imekutapika sasa ndio hiyo sasa you can be able to see that na tena ile tu kitu nimegundua kwa hii story yote is that as a country we've got inherent energy ile energy nimeona kwa viongozi na ile pesa mingi iko hii Kenya haki, haki ya Mungu leo acha niswe Kenya si nchi maskini hii Kenya iko na pesa mingi for the record it took a single day kupea MCS pesa it took a single day a single day eh kutengeneza committees kila mahali and it took 17 billion shillings kuweka committee ya watu 11 17 billion committee ya watu 11 yote hatukuulizi lakini kuna kale kamebaki kidogo with the same schedule ambayo tuliona ikiwekwa kwa schedule ya, IB, ya BBI itaenda hivi itaenda hivi we request tuwe na schedule ya vaccination with the same amount tuwe na schedule kuanzia kesho tuambiwe watu wataenda kisi, watu watakuja hapa Kirinyaga wanaenda kufanya vaccination kutoka kwa kijiji na sisi nimesikia viongozi wakisema mheshimiwa rudi nyumbani 
sisi ukianza vaccination sisi ndio tunakujoin tutakuja hapo na tutafanya mobilization tutaleta watu pamoja tukujoin so that we look forward for this country na si ile ya kifua na tena ishaonyesha na nyinyi mshajua hakunanga kitu naitwa kifua kwa Kenya unatumia kifua my friend kuna vitu zingine unatumia kifua kotini kuna jamaa atakataa unatumia kifua kila mahali kuna mtu atakataa wacha hii maneno ya kifua sasa miaka miezi kumi imebaki sasa na wewe tukitumia kifua ukiwa nje utakuwa wapi Wacha maneno ya kifua tuende pole pole na tuweke viongozi wote pamoja ama namna gani asanteni sana god bless you asante sana uh, we have honorable alice wahome mpigieni makofi tafadhali Dureda juge uduru wa governor. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, I know we are under great pressure to finish because I know you are also a guest elsewhere. Uh, the clergy led by our by Reverend uh, Musina. A Christo Musira. A Christo Muriega. Hamjambo. Mimi natoka huko Kandara constituency nikiwa mjube huko na watu wa Muranga wanasema vile vile tu hapa viongozi nimesikia wakiongea sisi ni wafuasi wa ukweli we seek the truth and for the last four years in this country we have been preach there are people who have been preaching uh, mandanganyano uongo imefika mwisho na ilifika mwisho na ningekubaliana na mheshimiwa Aisha iishe na ikome we need to pull all those energies together so that with a little remaining time we can possibly rescue the big four and not all the four i would go for one your excellency niseme hiyo pesa iwekwe kwa mahospitali yetu ya level 4 you know they are ailing they are suffering we can ensure that all these people mashinani unajua ni mahasras tupu we have no hospitals that you can speak home about in our regions they are there but we need to build their capacity hiyo pesa iwekwe hapo ile itabaki na itabaki kwa sababu ni nyingi we need to fix the capacity of IEBC nilikuwa tu niseme hiyo that IEBC in 10 months will actually be hosting the general election hatutaki mtu akuje kusema kimeibiwa so we need to fix the capacity ya IEBC ya mwisho niseme ukiangalia mahakama the judiciary and I have been in the committee for justice and legal affairs judiciary has suffered terribly during this last four years we need to ensure that we provide sufficient capacity for the judiciary nani wapongese sana as a lawyer i followed the judgment from 9 o'clock to 7:30 in the evening and i know i could see the anguish of the judges to try and balance including political interests but finally they stood for the constitution in defense and promotion of the constitution and the judges have taken Kenya to a very high level of judicial independence pongezi kwao tuwapongeze and we must learn and i know your excellency you will be getting this position fifth president your first act will be to swear by the constitution tafadhali be the greatest defender of the constitution na wajiko wajiko stood firm on friday it is not us of course god was there for us all and i really want to thank the church for all the prayers that they have been offering and even today i know we have been possibly taken too long lakini i think it was you know we have been holding a lot clergy we have been holding a lot and your excellency you have gone through it all of course dhahabu lazima ipitie kwa hiyo mateso thank you very much wangoi na odhuru na goko kwenda mudogo etoge simo michael ikijana ni mudogo afadhali 
mtika murekeredie bwana gesimu wako hapa na bado pia tuko na GK ambaye ni wale watu wanafanya kazi hapa governor wa igoro am your friend governor wa igoro am your friend i came for you as swearing in i was also there in parliament to defend you when you were being thrown out by way of impeachment you have lost cause tafadhali wahubiri niruhusu niseme hii we want our governor because we also she's one of us we want her to know that the words she has been speaking about the community of mount kenya that you cannot rent you cannot buy you can only rent she needs to apologize to the entire community of mount kenya because that is actually cheapening and insulting the same community that has given her a job na sisi tumemalizana na maneno ya candidate wa presidency sisi tuk tayari sisi tunaenda bere tuko na william samoi ruto if you are still looking for anybody else yes. uh, too bad we are busy ourselves now building the economy Asante. thank you so much alice wahome wakili hodari uh, now we are going to have wakili geshimo ambaye people have misconstrued him that he is from the other side lakini geshimo amesimama na hasla nation na ni mmoja wetu kwa hivyo wacha his uh, honorable geshimo awasalimie and then we shall have the other big general in the hasla nation ambaye anaitwa gk eh uh, thank you so much newega muno eh uh, kwa sababu watu wengi wameongea his excellency uh, william samoi ruto Deputy President, the clergy, waheshimiwa wote na viongozi wote, sitaongea mimi nita deliver message ya watu wa Geshugu kwa sababu vile niliwaambia na kuja hapa ku worship na Deputy President waliniambia watanituma. His Excellency watu wa Geshugu wamenituma wakaniambia wanakupenda sana kwa sababu ya mambo mengi lakini nitataja machache wameniambia wewe wanakupenda kwa sababu wewe ni mcha Mungu na wao ni wacha Mungu na mambo yote huwa unafanya unaweka mbele ya Mungu na huwa una support kanisa na tumesikia watu wengine wako na wivu kwa sababu deputy president huwa na support kanisa lakini maajabu ni kwamba hatujawahi waona kanisani wakisupport. Kwa nini wamuonee Deputy President mwenye ako na haja na kanisa na kusupport mambo ya Mungu. Mambo ingine wamenituma ni kwamba wewe huwa unawatembelea. Na geshoko umekuja mara mingi. Isipokuwa ni corona, najua umengekuwa umekuja mara mingi sana. Kwa sababu ikipu, wanasema ikipungua tafadhali watembelee. Tukuje tushirikiane. Geshogo tunakupenda you are on demand in Geshogo Jambo lingine wamenituma ni kuambie ni kwamba wewe huna ukabila kabila yako ni Kenya Wewe umejitolea kuhudumia mkenya wowote na ndio maana wao hataki kujiunga na vyama vya kikabila Wamesema wanataka mahali wako na direct line au viongozi wote kila mtu ako na uwezo wa kutengeneza chama chake lakini sisi hatutaki kuwa tunapitia kwa opareta ndio tufikie deputy president ambaye atakuwa president wa Kenya 2022 sisi ni direct line wa kutetea maslahi na mambo na maendeleo ya wananchi nikikoma kwa sababu ya muda ningekuwa na mengi hata ningeatandaza lakini ukikuja geshoko tuna mengi ya kuambia la mwisho wamefurahia hii bottom up approach yako ambao watu wengine hawaelewi kwa sababu wanasema wakati utakuwa president wa Kenya 2022 kwa sababu anakuombea na watakuunga mkono anza na wale wananchi wa chini pesa imwagwe pale ground ipande juu isianze juu iteremke kwa sababu inaweza potelea hapo katikati kwa hivyo hiyo tutakuunga mkono ndio tuweze kuinua wananchi au wa, 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 viongozi wako hapa 
ambao tunaunga deputy president mkono sisi tumesema hatutakuwa na ubinafsi hatutajipenda wacha mwananchi afaidike na ndio maana hatutaki kuwa na watu wengi wanatuambia tufuate chama hii twende ile twende tuka negotiate vile viongozi wamesema we have already negotiated for our people and we are continue to negotiate for our people because we are very close to the deputy president who is a direct line asante sana mungu wabariki asante sana so finally tuko na general wa kutoka kule ndia tafadhali appreciate with the club asante sana honorable wangu ngirishi my friend Uh, Reverend na timu yako ADS na Your Excellency na sisi wote tumekuja uh, kwa kanisa kumwabudu Mungu ni wasalimu wa asubuhi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Gai ni mwega na hidishio the Your Excellency si kwa tabia yangu kuwa nimekuja kanisa nikiwa nimechelewa Nimetoka hii asubuhi mahali mbali sana kule ile project ulianza inaitwa Garana Kuraru nikiwa committee ya environment tulikuwa tumeenda kuangalia kazi huko ile ulianza vile inaendelea uh, kwa hivyo sikuchelewa kwa sababu nimelala sana na your excellency ningetaka kukushukuru sana kwa sababu wewe ni rafiki ya watu ya Kirinyaga wakati tulikuwa tunafungua hii dam tunaanza hii dam diva dam yenye itasaidia wakaaji wa Kirinyaga sana na sana sana wakaaji wa Mwea ulikuwa hapo na ulikuwa hapo ulikuwa na rais hapo kufungua hiyo dam kwa hivyo mimi nataka kukushukuru kwa sababu sisi ni wakulima na tukiwa wakulima bila maji hatuwezi tukaenda bali kwa hivyo asante sana kwa kutuangalia vizuri uh, na tunakushukuru. Na niseme your excellency hapa Kirinyaga tumeamua kwa kauli moja ya kwamba sisi tutakaa nyuma yako tutakuombea tutafanya kazi na wewe bila kukubali kununua uoga mpaka ufike ikuru. Ni mungu itekera kwenye terera his excellency atuike mudhamaki wa borulimi yake ege 10. Ni mungu munyiterera hapa Kirinyaga your excellency hatuna jia mbili jia tuko moja na hatutaki kusikia maneno mengine huku kando kando na ndio sababu hata tukiwa na madam e, Gerishi kule bunge sisi tulisema na niliona hata clip yako on behalf of the people of Kirinyaga she said i vote no na mimi nikasema on behalf of the people of Dia i vote no na nikakataa kununua uoga kwa hivyo sisi tumesimama imara na tutakuwa na wewe na mpaka mwisho ndio ukue rais wetu. Sitaki kupitisha hapo kwa sababu ya muda lakini tunakupenda sana sana sana. Thank you very much. Asante sana JK. So before uh, before his excellency uh, comes to speak we had not had the offering so I will ask the vicar but before the vicar comes tafadhali your excellency Um, it's important uh, ngirisha alikuja kunichukua hapa kwa hao watu akanitoa hapa na sasa wakiona kama nimetupa huu jamaa they might think otherwise wafikirie nilipotea so mr ngirisha simamba wave the church so atuajue tuko na wewe tu tuko pamoja so thank you very much and my daughter is behind there tanya you can wave to the church eh, nikichukuliwa you are not born thank you very much So thank you so much so I will ask the reverend Mushera tafadhali you pick from here alafu with there's a special song that we would request eh uh, lakini before reverend allow me before your excellency let me say something you have taught me so much in politics and kaundo kama ndugire na ni moyo ngoro kwa kithemba kiu I'm speaking in French. Dugire wana daroga mana kaondo. Uria mwandu tire ndi na sare na ndi wanu na ngiuka Sunday school. Ngaroga mana kaondo kaunginya mwi. 
Nangiuga ndi mubaru muno niyo ndi nambe sasi ya kukura ndoe Uwaya Nangiuga mbe sasi ya kukura uwane siya adhire Ndika letie ombe sasi ya ingite vya andu makiri nyaga Kwa huni umu wa nangiru kama na mweno mwe Nitondu nindaru tire nangiru ta Nangime nyatiriri Wana nda nyita muko ndoyo I must be brave enough to stand by what I believe in. His Excellency told me one day in 2018, it was around December, that the suffering we are going to endure, this is the time that in diversity we are going to see the real character of human beings. And true to his word, I realized even Eleanor Roosevelt said the same thing, that character comes out in diversity. So we all reveal our real selves when things go bad. Nilikuja hapa nikawambia nikiwaletea pesa ya wakati tulikuwa tunajenga hii kanisa. Nikasema mimi nimechaguliwa chea wa wanmama wote ambao wamechaguliwa katika Kenya. Na mukapiga makofi sana. Lakini immediately after handshake na wakati nilikataa hii BBI mimi nilijipata kotini na nimetolewa. Yangu ilienda mpaka kotini. The next thing nilitolewa mpaka committees. You know what? The people of Kirinyaga your excellency are people of Kuga na Gweka. They will not turn around any day any time. They will stand with you and wakisema ni pande hii you should know they are not turning around. Hawataki kuwa bibi ya roti hawa. Hawa ni watu ambao wanataka kuwa ambao wanasema na wanafuatilia ile maneno ambayo wamesema. Watu hawa hapa unaona. We promised them the government came here and promised them kwamba ile mchele ambao wanalima itanunuliwa ite 5 shillings. Ile mchele bado inaoza pale katika nini iko pale katika stores. Wale wakulima hawajawahi lipwa. Hawa wakulima tena wakaambiwa kwamba watatengenezewa na maji itafunguliwa pande ya juu ndio waweze kulima. Nakwambia ukipitia hii kanal hapa hakuna maji. Ni Mungu amesaidia kumenyesha kidogo. These people are hustlers the ones that live in this town. They do not understand that language of rich people. Lakini wakati tumekuwa watu wa pande hii wamesimama na hustler nation sababu wenyewe ni mahasla. Ndio wamesumbuliwa kabisa na kea are hapa. Your Excellency, we know God's time is the right time. And because you are going to be the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, I know the lives of hustlers in Kirinyaga County will change. Na kwa hayo machache, na kurudishia ushukani, ndiyo uweze kuomba we continue offering, and then utuitie His Excellency. Thank you very much. And so I wish to welcome my elders, uh, including the ray readers, please just come over. I uh, want to do just an exercise very fast. My elders, the father, Karibuni, these are the people that uh, we work with. They wish that uh, after we pray, uh, they will come to you. They will be correcting the offertory including the tithes and uh, any other offertory that we give. The Bible says that uh, we honor God with our substances. It is time now to honor God for that reason. And so from here, they will have the buckets. Can we have the buckets with each, please? Yes, please. We shall subdivide ourselves after prayer. Uh, as the choir sing, we shall be collecting. Uh, we shall go round and round. As we, as we give. Kira mna kwe na yake, tafadari. Kwaya, you should be ready. Mna kwa mna imba as we do this. Immediately after that, praise and worship will be also guiding us. Let us pray. Let us pray as we prepare ourselves to offer to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have fought our battles. This far we have seen your love and care. A lot of might, the freedom and the, uh, the victory that we have. It is 
God given. Now, Lord Almighty, at this altar, we shall give, we shall worship you with our substances. God Almighty, may this be a sacrifice acceptable in your presence. And now, as we offer, accept us and accept our offerings. And this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And so, as the choir sing, I will ask the elders, we need a bride like you, we need a bride like you, we need a bride like you, as we correct the offertory. Then from there, we shall climax everything. Amen. Why?
Michael Mushira na viongozi wote wa kanisa elders wa kanisa hii ndugu viongozi wananchi na wakristo wa hapa St Luke's Wanguru Hamjambo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen God is good Ngai no mwega Yesu ndesho ode Mwana ni agosho Bwana Yesu asifiwe Asanteni sana. Kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni mshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ametupatia nafasi na ametupatia kibali tuweze kuwa sehemu hii ya Kirinyaga hapa Mwea. Najua tulikuwa tumepanga pale mbeleni mapema mwezi wa tatu kuja hapa na kuungana na viongozi na kanisa hii na washiriki wa kanisa hii lakini haikuwezekana leo tunamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ametusaidia imetimia kwamba tumekuja kupata ibada pamoja na nyinyi na kushiriki katika kazi mliotuitia tunawashukuru sana kwa kutukaribisha nataka pia nimshukuru Mungu kwa sababu mbali na mambo mengi tulionayo kama taifa bado tuko na nafasi which we don't take for granted to worship in our country called Kenya tunamshukuru Mungu sana kwamba tunaweza kumwabudu Mungu bila ya kushurutishwa ama kupimiwa 
hata mbali na changamoto tulizo nazo kama taifa nataka niwashukuru sana viongozi wa kanisa kwa kutukaribisha hapa na tumefika hapa kwanza kama wakristo pia kama viongozi na pia kama marafiki zenu tuweze kuungana na nyinyi katika kazi mnayofanya ya Mungu katika hii sehemu ya mwea. Asanteni sana kwa kutupokea. Na mimi nataka niwaahidi ya kwamba tutatembea hii safari ya kujenga hili jengo lenu pamoja mpaka tuikamilishe. Sisi tunajua ya kwamba yale mnatuitisha ni kidogo sana kulingana na ile baraka tumepata Mungu kumtolea mwana wake wa pekee you are asking us for that which is very little compared to the to what God has done for us so uh, msichoke kutuita tutakuja tena na tena na tena nimesikia ya kwamba April next year mtakuwa tena na kazi ingine ya kukamilisha hiyo sehemu msitusahau siku hiyo pia mtuite tukuje tushirikiane e, pamoja na nyinyi leo vile vile tumekuja hapa kanisani ili tuweze kumshukuru Mungu na tumekuja kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ninyi watu wa hapa Mwea Kirinyaga na Kenya mzima sote tumekuwa na harakati ya mambo ambayo yalikuwa ya kubadilisha katiba letu na kwa sababu ya jinsi vilio kazi ilivyoendeshwa wakenya wengi waliuliza ingefanywa vingine na kungetokea mazungumzo zaidi maelewano zaidi wa Kenya wote wajumuishwe lakini ilifanya kwa njia ya haraka kwa vishindo na vitisho na mambo mengine mengi naye Mungu akasitisha hiyo maneno leo tumekuja hapa kanisani kumshukuru Mungu kwamba Mungu ametutendea sisi wote kama wa Kenya. Na mimi ninajua ni mapenzi ya Mungu mkenya yeyote asiwache nyuma. Hata kama ni jambo gani tunafanya kama wa Kenya. Haitafaulu kama kutakuwa na wengine wamewachwa nyuma. So mimi ninaamini ya kwamba yale mambo mahakama wamefanya wame na mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii kanisani kumshukuru Mungu kwa kuwatumia wale mahakimu kotini kusimamisha rege na haya mambo ya kubadilisha katiba ya haraka haraka ili wa Kenya wengine wasiwachwe nyuma na mimi ninaamini kwamba Mungu ametumia mahakama kusimamisha hii mambo ya BBI kwa sababu mbili. Sababu ya kwanza ni yale mambo yaliyo katika wa Korinto wa kwanza moja na ishirini na saba na ishirini na nane. kwamba Mungu anatumia mambo madogo mambo ya simo ili mambo yaliyoko yaweze kusujudu mbele ya Mungu Mimi ninaamini BBI imesimama ndio sisi tulio na mamlaka na vyeo na ushawishi tuweze kujua ya kwamba kuna Mungu mbinguni Jambo la pili Mungu ametumia mahakama kusimamisha mambo haya ya rege ili sisi tuliopatiwa nafasi ya uongozi tulio na mamlaka 
tulio na uwezo tujue ya kwamba hatuwezi kutumia mamlaka tuliyopatiwa na uwezo tuliyopatiwa kwa njia ya ubinafsi kupanga mambo ambayo yanatufaidi sisi kama viongozi ya vyeo na kugawana mamlaka na kufanya mambo ambayo yanatuhuzu sisi kama viongozi tukisahau ya kwamba kila boma katika Kenya kuna vijana wengi wako na masatifiketi wako na vieti wako na e, madigri mbalimbali lakini wao wanaangaika hawana kazi wengine wako kwa depression wengine wameingia katika madawa ya kulevya wengine wameingia katika uhalifu kwa sio kwa sababu wanapenda ni kwa sababu hawana matumaini na hawana ajira and i think it is a reminder for those of us in authority those of us who have influence those of us who have positions that we cannot use the power we have the authority we have the positions we have for selfish reasons to benefit those of us who have already positions to the disadvantage of the millions of citizens who are desperate who do not have jobs who do not have businesses and rather god is reminding us that before we think about our positions and what is in it for us as leaders we must first think about ordinary people about the jobless about those who do not have what we have na mimi namshukuru mungu kwa sababu the lesson the writing is on the wall for all of us as leaders that we can have as much power as we want we can use as much influence as we wish but the ordinary people god is the defender of the defenseless so mimi nataka niwashukuru sana eh, kanisa tumekuja hapa tupige magoti mbele ya Mungu kumwambia ya kwamba sote tunataka kutembea pamoja na haitakuwa vizuri kama sisi tulio na uwezo tuliopatiwa nafasi ya uongozi tunatumia nafasi ile kutufaidi sisi tubadilishe katiba ili tufaidike wananchi wengi wakiendelea katika maisha magumu mimi nimefurahi sana kuja hapa kanisani hata ingawaje tumekuja kutimiza ahadi yetu ya kuja hapa kanisani kushirikiana na watu wa hapa katika ujenzi mlio nayo lakini pia tumepata nafasi ya kumshukuru ya kumshukuru Mungu Mimi ninajua ya kwamba kwa sababu ya ujeuri na kiburi ambayo siasa inaleta kwa watu hata wale walio kanisani wamefikiwa na vitisho ilikuwa ni vitisho kwa wanasiasa lakini sasa imefika vitisho hata makanisani mimi nataka niwaulize viongozi wa kanisa ya kwamba tumuamini Mungu na tumuogope Mungu tusiogope binadamu na niwakumbushe kwamba uoga inaweza kumkozesha mtu hapa duniani na pia akose uzima wa milele if you are in doubt nataka uende usome ufunuo 21 mstari wa nane ambaye inasema watu wote waoga they will never see the kingdom of god so i am asking the our our religious leaders not to buy the blackmail and intimidation and the fear that is being instilled on them but to stand up for what is right mimi pia nataka niwashukuru sana eh, 
kwamba nimefika hapa mara nyingine tena nilikuwa hapa katika kanisa la Katoliki hapa Mwea nimekuja hapa mara nyingi kwa shughuli ya maendeleo ya sehemu hii mambo yenu ya mabarabara mambo yenu ya maji mambo yenu yale mengine yote na wakati nilikuja hapa na rafiki yangu rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya nyinyi watu wa Mwea mimi nataka niwashukuru mlituamini mkatupatia kura zenu mkatupatia maombi yenu tukaunda serikali ya Kenya nataka nirudie niseme asante sana kuna kazi nyingi ambazo tulikubaliana na nyinyi tulikubaliana mambo ya mabarabara ya hapa i am happy to say hata ingawaje kumekwama kwama kidogo lakini hiyo program inaendelea hata mabarabara za mji huu wenu wa town hii zinaendelea na barabara zingine zimeanzishwa and our road construction program is on course in Kirinyaga tulikubaliana na nyinyi pia ya kwamba tutatengenezea nyinyi mifereji ya watu wanaokuza mpunga hapa tuko na serikali ya Japan waliotupatia karibu bilion 15 ambayo ni ya kufanya hiyo kazi na hiyo program inaendelea vile vile tulikubaliana na nyinyi kwamba wakati nilikuja hapa na rais mambo ya viba dam pale tumeweka karibu bilion ishirini na hiyo mpango ni ya kujenga dam ambayo itaongeza maji mtakayotumia hapa kuzalisha mpunga and it's expected that tutapata another 10000 acres of land under rice farming in this county when that dam is complete we will have enough water for that purpose na pia utapatikana maji ya watu wa Kirinyaga hapa hasa hapa Tebere na sehemu zingine hapa ya kutumia manyumbani vile vile mlituuliza mambo ya stima na i'm happy to say kufikia sasa in 2013 we had almost 28000 people connected to electricity today we have 115000 from 28000 and we are pushing that program na tutazidi na kusukumana na hiyo mpango pia kuwatayarisha vijana wa county hii katika mambo ya maendeleo na kupatikana kwa kazi na kupatikana kwa ajira tulikubaliana tutajenga technical training colleges and four of them have been constructed in this county each in every constituency Gishimo will confirm uh, my good brother GK will confirm the only one that is left near Kirinyaga Central ambaye sasa tumeipangia because we want to make sure that every young person has an opportunity to acquire skills that we can use to drive the development program and uh, the general development program of our nation so tunataka tushirikiane hivyo ile mimi nataka niwasihi na niwaombe ni kwamba kwa sababu sasa mambo haya ya BBI imekuwa imesimama na tena hakuna rege sote tukubaliane sasa ile mpango tulikuwa nayo ya big four ambaye wakati rege na haya mambo mengine yalivyokuja ikakwama ika nataka niwaulize wabunge wa upande zote katika bunge letu la Kenya sasa turudi pale bunge tupitishe ile amendments ya NHIF Act ndio tuweze kukamilisha mpango wetu wa universal health coverage pale kila mtu atalipa kiasi inayotosha kusimamia mambo yetu ya kiafya katika taifa letu la Kenya na wauliza pia wabunge program yetu ya housing ambayo ingezalisha nafasi za kazi milioni mbili imekwama kwa sababu hakuna sheria sawasawa vile vile tunawauliza ile amendments ya housing act iweze sasa kukamilishwa 
tuweke ile housing fund iwe ni mandatory kwa kila mtu ndio tuweze kutimiza malengo yetu ya housing ili kuzalisha nafasi za kazi kwa vijana wetu wa Kenya kwa sababu pale ndio changamoto kubwa ipo mimi vile vile nataka kuungana na viongozi waliosema hapa hakuna vile tunaweza kwenda mbele kama taifa wakati huu bila ya kuwa na mpango mwafaka maalum ya vile kila mkenya atapatiwa chanjo therefore the vaccination program must now take priority over any other program over any other expenditure over any other plan we must first secure the lives of every citizen it is only through vaccination and parliament should now commit all the necessary resources for us to roll out a comprehensive plan on how to vaccinate every citizen so that we can normalize our country everybody can go back to work we can re engineer our, our economy and be able to take the country forward mwisho mimi nataka niwashukuru wakaaji wa hapa mlima Kenya najua mambo mengi yamesemwa na wale watu ambao hawaamini katika Kenya moja nataka niwaulize wale watu ambao wanasema kuna watu wa kukodeshwa na watu wa kununuliwa wawache kutukana wa Kenya hakuna mkenya karne hii wakati huu majira haya ambaye ni wa kununuliwa ama ni wa kukodeshwa wa Kenya wote vile tulisema wajinga wa kununuliwa na wa kukodeshwa hawako tena katika taifa la Kenya mimi nataka niseme nikiwa hapa mlima Kenya ya kwamba watu wa mlima Kenya viongozi wa mlima Kenya wameambia taifa la Kenya ya kwamba wanataka kushirikiana na wa Kenya wote na nia yao na nataka nishukuru viongozi hawa ambao wamefanya kazi na mimi nimefanya kazi na viongozi mashujaa wa Salendo wa kutoka mlima Kenya ambao hawafikirii mambo yao ya vyeo na mamlaka na ni nini watapata wamesema wazi ya kwamba ya muhimu kuliko yale viongozi watapata ni vile tutashughulikia mahitaji ya kiuchumi ya wananchi wa mlima wakiwa wananchi wa Kenya na hiyo ndio mjadala ina, ina, inaendelea katika Kenya mzima. Baadaye leo nitakuwa nazungumza na viongozi na wataalamu wa counties inne za Western Kenya. Kwa sababu kila sehemu ya Kenya sasa inafikiria mambo ya uchumi. Na hivyo ndivyo tutakavyo kutanisha Kenya katika meza moja tuzungumze vile mwananchi mdogo ambaye biashara yake ni kidogo tunaweza kumuinua kwa njia gani tumuondolee yule Shylock ambaye anamlipisha gharama kubwa vile mwananchi mdogo ambaye anazalisha ni mkulima ama mfugaji tunaweza kumsaidia kwa njia gani ile kilimo imsaidie kuweka pesa kwa mfuko ni vipi tunaweza kushughulikia vijana wetu ambao wako katika kila nyumba karibu vijana milioni ine ambao hawana ajira ni mbinu gani tutatumia kuhakikisha kwamba hawa wanapata ajira the priorities in our nation we must get them right na mimi nataka nishukuru sana viongozi wa hapa Mount Kenya mimi niko tayari kufanya kazi na viongozi wote ili tuweze kuunganisha Kenya 
na mimi sio nabii lakini nimeshaona ya kwamba Kenya tutamaliza siasa ya ukabila kwa sababu watu wa Mount Kenya wameamua kwamba siasa ya ukabila itaisha katika uchaguzi mkuu ujao and i am confident and when the history of our nation will be written the generation of leaders from this mount kenya that have decided that they will not allow tribalism to define the politics of our nation going forward your place in history will be written in gold because you are the generation of leaders that will bring finally bring this country together and the uh, discourse public discourse and political agenda and the political plans of our nation henceforth will not depend on where you come from on the in the region you come from or the community you come from it will depend on the credibility and the soundness of the plan and the agenda you have for Kenyans as a whole mimi nataka niwashukuru sana eh maskofu mimi najua tuko hapa Kirinyaga na tumeambiwa kwamba Kirinyaga ni mahali network ya Mungu iko juu so na naamini kwamba yale tunasema hapa Kirinyaga itafika kwa Mungu kwa njia ya haraka so na ndio tunaomba hiyo ya kwamba sisi wote Mungu atusaidie atupe humility ya kuweza kuunganisha taifa letu la Kenya lote pamoja ndio tuweze kwenda mbele Mimi sasa nataka niwaulize wale ndugu zetu waliotutembelea kupitia barabara ya Hanshik kwa sababu sasa BBI imeisha tafadhali sasa muacheni rais afanyie kazi wa Kenya milioni 45 hakuna haja tena ya kumzunguka kwa sababu sasa hakuna vyeo ya kugawana sasa kila mtu aende ajipange hakuna haja ya kumharibia rais wakati kumzunguka eti ya wapange Hakuna vile sasa mambo inaweza kupangika mambo ya vyeo imemalizwa na mahakama. So kila mtu sasa urudi urudi eh, kwa mpango yako na muende mutengeneze sera. Kwa sababu hii ya vyeo imeanguka. Muende sasa mtafute sera. Mzukuje kwa wananchi sisi wote tushindane kwa msingi wa sera na mpango na manifesto. Eh, yote ile mnaweza kufikiria tafadhali muende mtengeneze hiyo. Huyu mnaweza kuconsult huyu mungwana amesema kuna nyingine inaitwa middle down. Anaweza. Mnaweza kwenda kujaribu hiyo. So, sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo. Asanteni sana watu wa Kirinyaga kwa kutupokea hapa. Poleni bado tuko na nafasi ya kwenda kanisa hapa kwa sababu eh, kidogo tumechelewa lakini tutarudi tena. Eh, na washukuru sana. Nataka tu niwaajie neno moja ambayo iko katika Wagalatia sita na mstari wa tisa inayosema na msichoke kutenda mema. So I just want to employ upon you to continue doing good. You have been good people, you have done well, you've done good continue to do that which is good kwa sababu biblia inasema kuna there will be a reward for you when you continue doing good asanteni sana pelekea salamu zetu eh, kwa askof, askofu wetu kiboshwa he is our friend mwambie aendelee kuombea taifa letu la Kenya asanteni sana so 
kwa sababu tumechelewa